All right, in today's video, we're just going to be modifying my otter sled and turning it into a polk sled. Hopefully I've got all the uh, required hardware for this. We shall see. All right, let's get to putting this thing together. We're just gonna assemble it out here at my barbecue kitchen. Well, in my last video, if you saw that one, I actually mentioned making this. Oh man, I lost my backpack. <laughs> ah. Gotta be aware of your surroundings. No! I planned on getting some straps for this, but I haven't modified the sled yet. That'll come in the next video, I guess. <laughs> Turn this thing into a polk sled. So now I've got all the tools and everything. Hopefully I've got everything I need to make this. So I'll show you guys exactly what I have here and we'll get to assembling this. So we have some anchor points. We have some carabiners. We've got four of those. We've got a couple of rings. We've got four bolts, four lock nuts, some washers, got some Velcro straps, 550 cord, 3 8 poly rope, and then we have our conduit, half inch schedule 80 PVC. The conduit is six and a half feet long. Now I'll try to have a link to all of this stuff down in the description below so you guys can check it out. All right, so for the first thing we need to do is we need to drill some holes. We're gonna just drill holes in this um, and we're gonna kind of do a little webbing around here so we can attach all of our equipment and hold it in together. Cause that was the problem I was having. Everything was falling out. <laughs> so this isn't my design. A lot of people have done this on YouTube. Um, so there's many of videos out there. Uh, but yeah, I figured, you know, I would try a lot of their methods and just see what happens and see how well it turns out. So we're just gonna start off masking around the corners here so we can kind of get an idea of where we want to put our holes. All right, now that that's masked out, I'm going to try to figure out exactly where I want all my holes and how many I want across. It's about two and a half inches is where the first hole will be. So I'll mark that out. All right, so I got that marked out. That's where that'll sit. Now, if I wanna have three of them coming across the top or front. There you go. Five inches to the next hole. Well, that looks pretty good. I'll show you guys uh, how I got this marked out. All right, so it's all marked out. There's the front. This is where that attaches. And then every about five inches, well, I've got this here set for three inches apart. And then every five inches, I've got another one. And we'll just have those go all the way around it. And then we'll weave the 550 cord in there. So next up, we'll start drilling. These first two holes are gonna be bigger than the smaller ones. So I'm gonna drill the four holes first with my bigger bit. Try to get that centered up there. All right, hopefully that's it. Hopefully those will fit. Trying to make them as straight as I can. Change out my bit to the smaller one, and we will get these ones drilled. Okay, all those holes are drilled. We'll pull this tape off and we'll start weaving and attaching things. All right, it's time to attach these. Should be able to just drop this right in there. Just like that. And actually what I'm going to use is I'm gonna use the other piece as the backer because uh, my washers don't actually fit under here without doing a, 
some modifications, but I think that this is actually gonna be better on the backside for rigidity. Um, I think it's gonna add some strength to it. So we'll put that underneath. All right, that thing's on there nice and solid. We'll do the other one. Okay, those are on. Now let's weave the paracord around. Okay, so we'll just take our paracord and start feeding it through. This first one though, I'm gonna make a little loop knot here, I'm trying to make the biggest and the fattest knot that I can so it won't go through. Hopefully that'll hold right there. Hopefully I have enough cord to go around this whole thing. All right, we got it all weaved up. Nice little attachment points here. Now on the back, what I did is I just kind of did a, uh, a loop knot, tied a rope around it and tightened it up. I don't know if that's the best way of doing it. Uh, we'll see what happens, but this can always be altered later on if I find any problems with it. I'm gonna take off the original rope here. We're not gonna need that anymore. All right, now onto our poles. So one thing I want to do is I wanna clean up these ends. They're a little uh, sharp. And so I'm gonna just kind of round them off, maybe with some sandpaper. Now I do have this drill bit here, but it's not quite, uh, it's a little small, but I might be able to kind of just go in here and clean it up. Much better. Nice and clean, no sharp edges. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna send our rope through. <laughs> Shove it in there. There it is. Okay. Then we're just gonna make a loop knot. Try to make it as small as you can. A little something like that, we'll do it on the other end. And then we will burn this. Okay, so there it is. I've got that attached through there. Did a loop knot and attached the carabiner. And then down at the other end, I did the same thing. Another loop knot. So now we have that pole all set up and ready to go. Now I just go ahead and attach them to our sled. Get those two points. There we go, attached at that point there and attached here. Now what we do is we put some Velcro in the middle because we want these to be crossed while we walk. We just take our Velcro strap here and we'll just kind of twist it around. Now this strap's actually really long, um, but I'm gonna make it work. Just a little something like that. That way it keeps these crossed. Okay. Get this down on the ground. Okay. So for the harness, what I have is this old military like belt. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make this work yet. But it'll clip on just like that. And then I'll clip it to here somehow. <laughs> so I got to figure that out. I have the rings. I just got to figure out how to hook it to the belt itself. So we'll figure that out right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to use this clip here. This clip actually attaches to the belt, so you can kind of uh, 
hook all types of different things to it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my ring in there like that and then we will clip it to the belt. Now I will let you guys know if this is actually something that will last, but there it is. It seems like it would be a pretty good way of doing it. All right, so there we go. We got the two rings on there. I just went and put them on those clips and I think that'll be a good way of doing it. I don't know. This is kind of a trial and error thing. I'll use it in the field a couple times and I'll let you guys know exactly how it works. Hey, it's working pretty good so far. Now we'll have to throw something in there, make it a little heavier. Oh man, that's nice. It's almost effortless. Wow, that's really nice. What I also like about this belt system is if you have any problems or anything, you can just disconnect, get out of it real quick. Now that it's all snowy. <laughs> well, there you have it. Polk sled, DIY. <laughs> Seems to work pretty well. Um, I'm gonna test it, like I have said, in some up and coming videos. And we'll see what happens, whether I need to change some things, modify some stuff, uh, get rid of some things, I don't know. Also the strapping system. With these little anchor points right here, all I'll do is probably run a bungee cord or some sort of cargo net over the top of anything that I've got inside here. I think that's gonna work really well. And yeah, I'm super excited about this, you guys. I think it turned out great. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I got my pump sled.